Hey guys, welcome to my Slackware desktop. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through a quick uh, Slack build script. So how to download from slackbuilds.org, run the script, build the package, and then install the package. So basically first, what I like to do is make sure in my home directory, I have a Slack builds folder currently empty. I'm gonna be putting the files that I use to build the script and, or build the package in here. So I'll leave that up on that side, pull up Firefox. I'm gonna run through pretty quick. Not gonna do a whole lot of explaining. So uh, yeah, let's do this. It's the end of my day, so I am not getting too involved. First, we're gonna be doing XArchiver. This is a really quick compile, and it's something if you wanna use XFCE, you're probably gonna want this. KDE has their version, but it doesn't play nice with other desktops. XArchiver lightweight desktop independent archive manager. That's all. So on here, you got basic information about the package, description, where it's from, homepage of the, the project. It's somebody else's project. It's not Slack or code. We're just compiling their source code. So this link is from SBO. This is the files or the script, all the files needed to build a package. I'm gonna download, I'm gonna put it in Slack builds. There it is. I'm gonna download this. Note that it's not coming from SBO, it's coming from GitHub, which is where these guys keep it, putting it in the same folder. Gonna come over here, point and click, point and click, because yes, in Slackware, we can do things graphically. It doesn't have to be command line. I'm gonna extract here. You gotta move this into the folder. So now, this folder right here, Slack build script, a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna actions, open a terminal here. SU dash to get a full environment because you gotta be root when you build a Slack package. And I got a CD to my home directory, Slack builds, doesn't really matter where you put it. There, here's all the files. So when you run a Slack build script, you download the tar.gz that's just named after the program, then the source, you extract the archive, you put the source into that new folder. So it's got all these other files with it. The Slack build script is going to grab this and it's going to extract it, compile it, build a package, and then we can install. So as root dot slash run the Slack build. And it's gonna do, give you an amazing wall of text. And on my uh, Ryzen processor here, it's not gonna take too long to finish. Almost there. It does a bunch of things. Don't worry too much about what it's doing. You can figure that out later. Run through, have the small victory. Just just do the thing. Um, don't, don't, me don't monkey with your setup right from the start. On a blank default build of Slackware, uncustomized, fresh install, Slack builds will work from this repository. This is an official repository for all of Slackware. If you haven't changed your operating system yet, these will work. If you start making changes, well, yeah, you can, you can cause problems, and it's kind of on you at that point. Um, but that gives you a good starting point to know when, you're, when your customizations have gone too far. So here, sl Slackware package created. So install pkg slash tmp, which is where it puts them, archiver, and the name, of, the name it gives you. That's the exact path. And I'm gonna install. That's it, done. It is now available in my menu. Maybe, there it is. It takes a second, give it a second to refresh. It takes a while, it doesn't show up immediately and it doesn't in any distro either. You gotta give it a second for the background stuff to do its magic. Um, here it is, so, you know, I can actually use this to open up the, uh, the archive. <laughs> this is the source archive for uh, X Archiver. So opened up within itself. I opened itself, um, or I told it to open itself. So that's all there is to it. You download the Slack builds, grab the source, stick it together, run it. It is, the Slack build scripts are tied to a specific version, so you gotta keep that in mind. But that should be all you need to do. Um, you can get into the advanced stuff later. Run through something basic. Don't jump straight to VirtualBox. VirtualBox requires, you can look for it, it's here. You can build it. 
but it has some weirdness going on. You gotta, it's a little more advanced. Keep in mind, this is, we know this works. We know this is secure. Keep, uh, you start going through things like pkgs.org or whoever those people are, random uh, third party package guys, it's not hard to make a Slackware package. So you gotta, you, gotta, you know, don't just Google for Slackware packages. That's not a good idea. Um, not a good idea. Uh, but slackbills.org, it's official. So start with that. If you want to start going through someone else's package repository, there are some, and I can recommend those later, but you want to start with the basics, which is building your packages with a Slack build script. And it's something that I wish a lot of other distros were a little more transparent about because they do the same thing, but they hide it from you. So I will uh, let you go, maybe leave VirtualBox as an exercise for the user. Uh, but basically that's all there is to it. As you saw, pretty quick. So I kind of breeze through it, but I think uh, given that this is a video, you can kind of repeat it as many times as you need to. <laughs> um, otherwise, maybe I'll do a follow-up video. So anyway, back to my desktop and uh, toodles.